And continuing with our breaking news, I'm joined by Congressman Adam Schiff, the ranking Democrat on the Intelligence Committee. Congressman, thank you very much. I don't know if you just heard your colleague, Mike McCall, who had been briefed, and I know you've been briefed, uh, but all signs pointing to a bomb, not to a catastrophic mechanical failure. Well, I wouldn't say all signs. Uh, there are certainly indications that this may have been an explosion, may have been a terrorist uh, bomb on the aircraft. Uh, but it remains a possibility that it was a structural failure in the aircraft and the intelligence community is not yet at a point where it really can confirm either hypothesis. Uh, we're obviously looking uh, at what we can, uh, what sources of intelligence that we have. Uh, probably the most definitive evidence uh, will be what's in the debris field as well as what's on those black boxes. Uh, so we're yet to confirm anything at this point, Andrea. But uh, without saying that it is confirming or conclusive, uh, David Cameron and the Brits have been so out front. Uh, here you've got the prime minister standing at number 10 next to the Egyptian leader al-Sisi on a previously scheduled visit calling Vladimir Putin and saying that uh, the evidence does point that it is more likely a bomb. I mean, I've never seen a leader be that forward-leaning unless they've got some pretty interesting intelligence. I understand it to be intercepts. Well, it is very forward-leaning, Andrea, and I can only tell you uh, our perspective uh, here in the United States, which is we're, we're not ready to confirm anything. Uh, there is evidence uh, that would support either conclusion. Uh, you know, certainly there are indications that this could have been a terrorist attack. At the same time, when you look at the history of that aircraft and you look at the debris field and the fact that the tail section uh, is uh, separated by a considerable distance from the rest of the aircraft, um, there is also a plausible explanation that doesn't involve terrorism. So, um, you know, obviously we're working as fast as we can. Uh, it is, I think, prudent for the British uh, as well as ourselves uh, and the Russians and the Egyptians uh, to uh, take whatever precautions are necessary in the event it's confirmed to be terrorism. So I can understand the steps uh, that the British are taking, uh, but I do under underscore we haven't confirmed yet what was responsible for that crash. Understand. Do we have any understanding as to whether ISIS has this capability? I think ISIS probably does have the capability only because it doesn't require a lot of sophistication, unfortunately, uh, to get a bomb on an aircraft. You have to defeat the airport security. Um, we have obviously much better airport security here at home, but even our airport security is far from infallible. Uh, and if you are able to penetrate it either with a particular device, uh, and we don't have a lot of evidence of, of ISIS developing non-mechanical bombs the way we have worried about Al-Qaeda, AQAP, doing that. But nonetheless, if you have uh, someone on the inside at the airport that can help you uh, smuggle an explosive uh, on uh, to an aircraft, uh, that obviously doesn't require a great deal of sophistication. It just requires having one person in the right, or in this case, the wrong place. And we do know that ISIS has a lot of money. Uh, they have a lot of money, and you know, I will say this about the Sinai chapter of ISIS, the affiliate there. Uh, they are growing in numbers and in sophistication. When you consider the coordinated attacks uh, that they have mounted against the Egyptian military, for example, uh, they have really increased in sophistication. I was in the Sinai just a few months ago uh, looking into the security problems there, uh, and there is this growing persistent presence. Uh, notwithstanding what uh, President al-Sisi says, there remains a very virulent uh, al uh, al uh, ISIS presence there uh, that they have not been able to eradicate. And you're familiar with that airport? Uh, I am familiar with that airport. Uh, I can't tell you, though, you know, particularly uh, how good the security is or was uh, on, on this pivotal week. But, but yes, that was the airport where we're, we were when we... Uh, uh, went on our uh, visit to the Sinai. Congressman Adam Schiff, thank you very much. Thanks for being with us today.